Here at home, mixed martial arts has enjoyed a rapid rise in South Africa since becoming a professional sport in 2009. The Extreme Fighting Championship has created a platform for fighters to showcase their skills. Now, Ronald Masinda took a closer look at how the EFC is helping local fighters achieve their dreams. Meet Sindile Maningela. I think I'm the best fighter in, uh, in, in Africa at the moment. Yeah, I've watched my opponents. I don't think they are good at all. So I think I'll do great in EFC. He's from Zwede in Port Elizabeth and has been involved in combat sport since he was a teenager. After trying his hand at a number of disciplines, it was in mixed martial arts where he really excelled. It was soon after his fourth straight win as a professional MMA fighter that Maningela was rewarded with an 18-month contract by the Extreme Fighting Championship. This is uh, my breakthrough for all the years that I've been training. I think this is my biggest opportunity. We caught up with the 30-year-old just hours before his biggest challenge. Yeah, he gets a few words of encouragement from his trainer, Andrew Guerrea, before the official way in. He's not got the lead. I talk to him much, much bigger than what he is. Much, much bigger. But that's fine. Manengela fights local favorite Nathan Fredericks in a featherweight bout at Grand West in Cape Town. Well, we've just signed a contract with the EFC, which we have to honor. And, uh, you know, we need to really prove ourselves because we're new in this environment. But make no mistake, we've got an eye on that uh, title belt. At the moment, EFC currently contracts about 130 athletes are contracted to us. Now, that's, that's a massive amount of, of, of guys that we're supporting, essentially, just directly, just supporting 130 fighters. Um, I, would, I would guess, I, we haven't run the numbers, but I would say that EFC alone is paying out more in purse money than all of boxing combined, all the boxing com promoters in South Africa combined. EFC has vowed to conduct business only in the best interest of their fighters. Shots as Nathan Fredericks is not wasting. Three minutes to go. There it is. Having there a good is. look, and then he jumps in. He's not only do they pay their athletes well, but fighters also get adequate health care. During his fifth professional fight, Maningela suffered a bruising knockout. The severity of this beating could have dire consequences for him. MMA fighter Butuke Ilan sadly lost his life earlier this year after he suffered severe head injuries during an EFC Africa event. His death sent shockwaves through the MMA fighting community and raised a few concerns about the health risk of the sport. Every single athlete fighting at EFC Africa is on private medical aid. EFC actually contributes half of their private medical aid with the only promotion in the world that I know that is paying people for half of their medical, you know, contributing towards private medical care for athletes. Manengela has since recovered and is now on the road to redemption. A judo sensei in his spare time, he aspires to teach his students MMA so that they too could also perhaps follow in his footsteps one day. Yes. Ronald Masinda, Cape Town.